Hello there, welcome to jasonnewland.com, my name's Jason. This is a hypnosis session, sponsored by hypnosismp3store.com, a place where there are hundreds of free hypnosis sessions to instantly download, all by myself. This session is going to be part of kind of part of the plan that I have with my hypnosis sessions is to loosen you up, to loosen your mind. Loosen it from being stuck. Loosen it from being limited. And that's part of a lot of the work that I do. And let you know there will be background sounds. Maybe my side, maybe your side. It doesn't matter. Because this is not sleep. What this is, is the power of your mind. And you don't need silence for that. Besides, you got me talking, so it's never going to be silent if I'm around. Because I like to talk. I also like to help. I like to change things. So if you think about, let's say, a phobia. If there's a, pho a phobia that you have. It could be something that is kind of seems a bit ridiculous to you, maybe. you can change that. And I want to give you an analogy of a phobia. Sometimes, and it might not be a great analogy, but it's an analogy anyway. You can have a tree. And if you want to uproot a tree, at some point it's fixed. It feels fixed. It's solid in the ground and you can't push it over but in the same way you don't want to cut it down because you want to re, re you might want to do something with it you might want to put it somewhere else or actually it might be a dead tree cutting it down is just a lot of work or it might actually be alive and the roots are still there and they might continue to grow and you don't want that anymore. So what you have to do is move it, continue to move it and try and dig underneath it to the point where you can maneuver and you can loosen it to the point where you can just pull it out. And it's a bit like that with phobias. There's a few different ways, there's lots of different ways of eliminating, reducing, changing, creating phobias. There's lots of ways of doing that stuff. I quite like the gentle way. I quite like the idea of just loosening the phobia. First of all, change in term phobia. Let's say it's a spider. Someone says, I've got a fear of spiders, or I have a phobia of spiders. You could call it a temporary irrational reaction to spiders. You could call it a temporary reaction to 
maybe get away from the judgment of calling yourself you know irrational we all have the ability to be irrational do we need to beat ourselves up about it I don't think so so there's nothing wrong with having a phobia or a reaction a temporary reaction to spiders as an example but what you can can do, you can, if you choose, loosen that belief that you used to have. Think about the things in the past that you used to really believe, you know, really believe, and now you know was absolute nonsense, completely off the chart of silliness now you know because it doesn't affect you the way it used to and I want you to think of something something that you have a temporary reaction to something that you would have called a phobia before this session a temporary reaction is it a spider a snake a, a pigeon it could be seeing blood needles whatever whatever your temporary reaction object is think about that thing now if you like, if, if you feel safe to do that, of course. Remember that you are safe. Remember that the reaction is just a reaction. It's not really real. It feels real, but it's not. It's just a reaction. It's just a feeling. So just have that in your mind, just put it over there for now, in the, in the trash heap where it belongs, and just kidding, you can put it somewhere nice if you want, put it in a little trophy cabinet if that makes you feel good. So if you have pride for this uh, temporary <laughs> reaction, if you feel good about it, you probably don't know. So. To have a phobia is a big deal. It can feel like a big deal. To have a temporary reaction is something different, isn't it? Isn't that something different? Doesn't it feel different? It feels different to me. It's a temporary reaction. Where's the emotion connected? Those words temporary reaction where's the emotion give me the emotion there think of that thing in the section in the that area of your temporary reactions try and get some emotion from it it's such a clinical word isn't it such a, a vague kind of it's just a temporary reaction so think of that thing Where's the energy there? Seriously, where, where's the energy? Where's the energy gone? Where, where is it? That temporary reaction. Think of that thing that was bothering you before when we were looking at it or thinking about it over there. Now it's over there. What? What? Where's the energy? Where's the this thing that used to have some kind of effect? And where's it gone? Where's the effect gone? Where's the energy gone? I'll leave you with that. Where's it gone? Anyway, bye bye.